Hi all. My name is Kelly Seibart and I wanted to share my success story with everyone. So I uh, recently did, um, or I'm doing a uh, VMR. I started in the fall session with the group um, in September of 2021. And um, just, I guess I will kind of start at the beginning. Um, I don't really love hashing out old negative stuff, but I think without the context, it's not gonna, I don't know, it's not gonna do justice to how well I'm doing, I guess. So bear with me while I just talk about some of the negative things for a second. <laughs> um, so when I was 16, I got into a car accident that created a lot of um, self-esteem issues and PTSD symptoms that I didn't realize were those until later in my life. Around the age of 18 to 21, I was in an abusive relationship that really escalated my anxiety. Um, around the end of that, I had my first panic attack, thought that I was having a heart attack, called 911. And I just want to briefly note this because at no point in time did anybody in the medical system explain to me what was happening. Nobody used the word anxiety or panic. And this is like 2001. It wasn't really talked about back then, at least not in the you know, circle of people that I communicated with, like anxiety wasn't even in my vocabulary. So I had no idea what was going on. And they told me, your heart's fine, and sent me home. And that was almost like more scary because I felt deeply that something was wrong, but nobody was explaining to me what was happening. And it was just really confusing. I went to my family doctor as well. He said the same thing. And, um, actually sent me home with six Xanaxes. And I'm like, I didn't even know what Xanax was at the time. And I'm like, are these six pills gonna stop me from getting another heart attack? Like, what is this? Um, you know, just, it didn't help. Um, and then I went to another family doctor in a different area. And um, after I moved back to my hometown and he said the same thing and just gave me a prescription of Paxil and Xanax. So, I'm sure you can imagine where that led me. Uh, it was a whole bunch of craziness. I have lots of bizarre stories from what I call my Paxil days. Um, I think I was only on Paxil for maybe six months, um, maybe like a year at the most. I just sort of flippantly stopped taking it one day, like, I don't feel like taking this anymore. Um, but a lot of, like, Paxil made it so that I didn't have any healthy anxiety. Like, would drink beer, smoke weed, take Xanax, and like go to work and think it was totally fine. Like if my boss notices, I'll just tell her. She won't care. Um, just like kind of took away all logic really. So I stopped and then I, but, but I always continued my Xanax prescription. And so I've had a Xanax prescription for like 20 years now. I can't even believe that. I did the math before I started this video and I just can't believe I've had a prescription for 20 years. So, wow. Um, then I, I grew up in a party town, so alcohol was always in the scene, but within the past maybe 10 years, alcohol is like uh, an issue, basically. Um, you know, drinking like a bottle of wine a night or like four to eight shots of whiskey every night. And um, my diet, of course, had room for improvement. I mean, I ate a lot of healthy things too, but there's always, of course, room for improvement there. But alcohol was the big has been, you know, an issue. <laughs> um, so just really quick, I'll kind of list off um, the bad. Uh, so I had really bad mood swings, um, anger outbursts, reckless behavior, um, really dark lows. I was chronically hungover, no energy, no motivation. Um, sleeping was a really big issue. I couldn't go to sleep at night or I would just pass out one or the other. And if I passed out, then I always woke up around 3 a.m. in like sweating. Um, I always woke up a lot of times in the night in general and uh, used my TV for security. Like I would always watch TV, but like in bed um, in order to help me go to sleep. So I thought, and I'd always turn the TV on in the middle of the night because I just wake up in like total fear, basically just completely fear-based. Um, getting up in the morning was impossible. I would hit snooze for hours, literally. Um, I'd have night terrors, what I call night terrors, I don't really know what they are, uh, where I'd startle up awake and sit straight up in bed and, um, and like gasping for air because it felt like I hadn't been breathing. Um, I basically 
thought that I couldn't go to sleep without either alcohol, Xanax, CBD, or L-theanine. And I used one or all four of those um, for years going to sleep at night. Um, my hunger was always spiky and uh, I was either like nauseous or didn't have an appetite at all or starving to death um, or like extra full and lethargic. My relationship with food was always kind of volatile, uh, definitely not healthy, a lot of restriction and guilt. Um, I worked out inconsistently and it was always really difficult. My um, thinking was very foggy. It was really difficult for me to focus at work. Um, I constantly worried. I mean, just constant state of doom. Um, really perseverated on death a lot. Just constantly was thinking about death. Driving was really difficult. Like my driving anxiety was really high and I'd get like, I'd like hyperventilate and have to pull over. Um, my stomach was always just chronically upset. And that made driving sort of more anxiety producing too, because I was never sure if I was gonna like make it to the next restroom or rest stop. And without getting into, I guess, too many details about my BMs, I'll just say I had chronic painful diarrhea. So that was fun. Um, then came kind of fertility issues. And I saw a fertility clinic and they prescribed me levothyroxine um, for my thyroid three miscarriages um and it again i want to point out right now that like at no point in time did any doctor in the last 20 years say hey cal maybe you should lay off the whiskey or like let's take a look at your diet first before putting you on levothyroxine and see if we can't you know get this balanced just kind of pisses me off um so so now fast forward to July of like 2021, I started having a really bad string of panic attacks. One of which I thought for sure I was going to die. Like, this is it, you're dying right now. And when it was over, I'm like, I never wanna feel this way ever again. Like I am done. 